So I think, you know, a lot of my innovation and creativity comes from that I have tons of friends. You know, I'm probably not your typical networker, but I think that I try and associate with a lot of people. I am a little different where I don't ever ask anybody really for anything. I like to bounce ideas off of people. I'm not necessarily a super collab collaborator on like projects or things like that, but I do love to sit down with people and just bounce ideas off of them and have them do even the same thing with me to just try and come up with uh, solutions to different problems. Surround yourself with people that believe in you. And when people believe in you and believe that you have that capacity, and look for others that uh, can push you. Um, look for mentors. Um, then you can push yourself into this new uh, innovative state. And uh, it's a really great place to live. I get advice from uh, certain people, uh, or they may not even know they're giving me advice, but I, I, I can call up just about anyone and, and ask them inside Corporate Alliance and ask them uh, questions and they're right there to, to uh, give me solutions to my problem. You know when it comes to marketing or coming up with innovative ideas our young people are such a great untapped resource and so I have teenage kids you know that I would have my kids friends come over from high school and when we had a marketing problem for example I would sit them down and say okay you know here's a free pizza now tell me how we can do this I mean they are the masters of social media and getting people's attention and knowing what's cool on Instagram and Facebook and Vine and all these different things for example they came up with a billboard theme for us it said this is what awesome looks like and they had the hiring shirt for MetaConnect and they had ideas of taking our RV and wrapping it and you know being able to park it at other people's buildings so that when people came out for lunch we could hire their employees and I mean all kinds of these crazy fun innovative commercials that we did that were all almost free to inexpensive or nothing came from these high school kids and just asking their ideas so never discount the value you can get from young people. Engage with a community that has succeeded many times but also failed. A group of folks who have innovated in, in the laboratory of their lives and in their companies and had some success and had some failures. And then you provide a structured o overlay to that, some concepts about how does this really work? What are the principles and the circumstances under which I can be successful in innovation? Meeting with folks to discuss uh, those frameworks and that experience is very, very valuable and perhaps more valuable than just making a contact that could help you with a supplier relationship or a potential customer. It's sort of discussing the collective wisdom of the group around what makes innovation work. I think that can be very, very valuable. Again, what's important is, is uh, people's ability to do things. Not necessarily their background. And we, we have, I think we have an, uh, an attorney in our software engineering team. Um, we've got English majors. We've got um, people that, uh, we've got dropouts. We've, and then we've got people with, uh, you know, master's degrees and PhDs. We like interesting people. We have a lot of weird people that work here and it's super fun um, because life's short and why work with boring people? It's one of the things I love about Corporate Alliance is you're sitting at tables with just really bright people who have solved problems. And when we get in those critical question segments, invariably someone will start to talk about oh, I did it this way or I've done this way, and you go, oh, that's a great idea. But I was at a table with um, Alan Davis and um, Wayne Stewart, he, who he'd brought to the trip, and I threw out an idea and said, how would you guys skin this? And um, now we have a business together doing that exact idea. We have clients now using the product, and we've moved down the road, and it all came from us just talking, observing how other people do their business, and then saying, hey, what if we put our ideas together and made this happen?